So yeah, I very nearly got a copyright strike on a video that I put up last year. The video was of a sequence that I took in some woods and the problem was that the music on it was from a subscription service that I previously cancelled. So as soon as I noticed I took it straight off and I've been working on a new sequence that I've put together and I'll show you that in a second. But if you stick around till the end I'll be talking about what I learned. So yeah, let's get into the video. A walk through the woods can really give yourself time to think. That's where I escape, nature. It's my safe haven, my place of serenity. I walk to refresh my senses, to give my mind a rest and to appreciate the world around me. Walking isn't just exercise for me, it's meditation. Breathing in that cool, fresh air, it's a gentle reminder that I'm still here. I'm still constant, and I'm alive. Just give yourself 10 minutes, or even five, to take yourself to that safe place. Meditate in whatever way you feel is natural and right. Only you can take yourself to that place. Only you are in control of the path you take. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you want me to go through how I went about the sound design for it, then drop a comment down below and I'll get that recorded for you. What I learned from doing this, I've learned a lot in a year and when I shot the video initially, I wasn't shooting it with a purpose. I was just shooting footage. Uh, I've just got a new gimbal that I was trying out, so I was just getting shots. I wasn't thinking, oh, I've got to give this video context. I need to make it have a, I need to give it a meaning. So when I did the first video, I was happy with what I did, and I, I liked the footage that I got. But now, after a year of what I've learned and going through the footage, I realised they're just a load of shots. There's there's no meaning to the shots. They were nice shots, but I didn't take the shots in a specific way where it would have a start and a finish. So as I was piecing all the footage together, it just felt like it wasn't going anywhere and there was no drive to it, there was no start and there was no end. So I was nearly at the point of giving up and just getting rid of all the footage. But then all of a sudden I thought, well actually this might work with a voiceover and a voiceover would give it context and then the voiceover could drive the video and give it that purpose. So I started writing the script down and yeah, it just it just all came together really nicely. And then now I'm so happy with how it's turned out. So it's taught me to not give up with footage that I'm not happy with, basically. There's always gonna be a way to make it work. You've just got to you've just gotta push, you've just gotta keep trying to think of ideas, maybe go away from the computer for 10 minutes, half an hour, and then you might just have an epiphany and then it'll just come to you. And then you'll be so happy that you've, that you've kept the footage. So yeah, that's the biggest thing that I've taken away from doing this video really. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to do something with that footage. So I'm giving that advice to you. There you go, have it. If you've had similar experiences like this before, if it, it could be with anything, it could be with drawing, it could be with doing a, it could be with writing a song or, or anything, drop a comment down below and let me know your experiences with it and, and how you learned that lesson. So yeah, so thanks for sticking around, I really appreciate it. Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Oof!